Today, we will witness the power of convenience of modern machines in the process of harvesting vegetables, such as broccoli, cabbage, carrots, and onions. These advanced agricultural systems not only increase efficiency, but also help reduce effort and time, bringing impressive and effective results to farmers. Let's enjoy the feeling of progress together, as agricultural technology increasingly reshapes the landscape of food production. We'll see how smart devices and automation help farmers not only save time and effort, but also increase productivity. Don't forget to subscribe and follow to stay up to date with the latest trends and innovations in modern agriculture. To achieve high yields when growing broccoli, proper preparation and planting steps are very important. First of all, you should cover the blister with soil to germinate. The first stage of broccoli growth is sowing seeds, which can be sown indoors or outdoors. Broccoli plants usually begin to sprout around the fourth week. Before planting young trees, farmers will prepare the soil and irrigation system so that the trees can grow fast. After about 20 days, when the seedlings have four to five leaves, they can be picked up and planted in prepared soil. Make sure that each tree is about 40 to 50 centimeters apart and bury the base tightly to avoid falling. The seedling stage ends when the broccoli is in its young stage. It has a root system and some leaves. Now plant will increase its growth. The vegetative phase lasts for about four to six weeks. This is the stage when broccoli plants begin to grow actively. Drip irrigation helps provide even and stable water to plants, reducing the risk of water overload or water shortage and helping it grow strongly and evenly. Broccoli plants usually enter the flowering stage about 8 to 12 weeks after germination. Heads of broccoli start only a quarter of the size and mature over time. Broccoli is ready to harvest when there is a large head of broccoli in the middle of the main stem of the plant. When it's time to harvest, farmers use a sharp knife to cut into its main head, leaving about five to six inches of stem. Most cultivars have side shoots that continue to grow after harvesting the primary shoot, which can be harvested from one plant over many weeks. One positive thing is that the harvest in early summer was very bountiful. Boxes of perfect broccoli are transported from the washing and packing facility on the farm to the food warehouse. Likewise, harvesting purple cabbage is also quite simple. Depending on the variety, purple cabbage harvesting time begins as early as July. These purple mustard varieties usually tolerate frost without any problems, as long as the temperature does not drop below minus 4 degrees Celsius. The process of harvesting purple cabbage through a cabbage harvester is often done to increase efficiency and reduce labor effort.
Cabbage is often put through the drive system or conveyor to facilitate transportation and arrangement. Monitor the harvesting process to ensure that the cabbage is cut evenly and without much damage. The harvester is designed to separate unwanted parts such as leaves and trash from harvested cabbage. After harvest, cabbage is usually taken to a processing facility to remove leaves, trim the tops and prepare for packaging. Purple broccoli is becoming more popular in the US, especially grown in common purple broccoli growing regions including California, Arizona, Texas and Florida. Some of the reasons people like to use purple cabbage are because it contains folic acid and vitamin K. Purple cabbage can support grain health and reduce the risk of many diseases. Anti-pollutants and fiber in purple cabbage can help control blood sugar and reduce the risk of diabetes. Carrots are a nutritious vegetable with many health benefits. Here are some key benefits of carrots. Carrots are a good source of vitamin A, which is important for eye health, protecting against problems such as corneal erosion and cataracts. Containing antioxidants such as beta-carotene, carrots can protect cells from damage caused by oxidative stress. Carrots sown from July to August can be harvested from October to November. Carrots sown from September to October will be harvested from December to January of the following year. Carrots are one of the most popular vegetables in the United States and the fresh market consumption of carrots has increased over the past few decades. Basic knowledge about the distribution of carrot consumption across market channels, different geographies, regions and population groups is still very limited. Farmers often use tractors to turn the soil and then pick carrots from the soil. They're separated from the grass and branches and packaged to be sent to market. About 80% of fresh carrots are purchased at retail and consumed at home, the majority being fresh produce, including baby carrots. Carrots can be left in the soil for temporary storage if pests are not present. Carrots can also be stored in a pot of moist sand or dry sawdust and placed in a cool place. Onions are a popular crop in the United States and are grown in many different regions of the country. Onions are grown in most states in Georgia, California, Washington and Texas, places with warm and cool climates. The US is one of the largest countries in the onion production, supplying not only to domestic markets but also exporting to the international market. U.S. onion production is expected to reach 3.5 million tons in 2026, which is a 0.3% growth rate compared to 2021, when production was 3.5 million tons. Harvest time usually depends on the variety, but onions are usually harvested when the stems begin to dry and fall. After the onions have been harvested, Further processing is usually done at the factory to prepare the product for the market. 
onions are transported to the top and the bottom cutting machine by conveyor belt. The onion continuously passes through precisely positioned blades to cut only what is needed. After cutting the tops and tails, the onions are put into the elevator and transported to the onion peeling machine. The onion will be peeled and then sent to the discharge hole. Here the workers will check the final stage. Once processed, onions can be packaged into suitable packaging for storage and transportation. Pre-processed onions products then are transported to retail locations, farmers markets, restaurants and other points of sale to meet consumer demand. In Australia, mango agriculture is very popular. The average annual output in Australia is about 53,500 tonnes. 95% of Australian mangoes are grown in Northern Australia and Queensland. Australia is one of the countries with the strictest quarantine regulations. Therefore, mango production processes in Australia are very strict. First, farmers will adjust the distance between soil holes. Next, farmers plant and use wooden braces to stabilize the tree to prevent the roots from being shaken. After the mango tree is planted, farmers will build large pillars. They will connect the columns with steel wires. After three months of planting, the tree bears fruit. When the top trees turn dark green, prune away the buds growing on the rootstock to concentrate nutrients to feed the tree. Leave only three big strong buds, evenly spaced in three directions from the trunk. Now that the mango tree is taller, the people will continue to pull the steel wire tighter. The rope will be securely tied to the pole Doing so will prevent the tree from falling. The mango tree will bear fruit in its third year. Entering the fourth year, it begins to produce flowers and fruit stably every year. During this time, the tree is carefully cared for. Farmers will regularly visit the garden prune branches and leave infected with pests and clean the garden. After the mango fruit sets, it takes about 70 to 80 days to produce a quality mango. Ripe mangoes will be plump and red, the stem will sag and the bottom will be round. At this time, the farmer will go to harvest. They use specialized poles to pick fruit from high places. The mangoes will have their stems cut to leave a length of 3 to 5 centimeters. Doing so prevents mango latex from sticking to the fruit. In other words, the mango is picked without the stem, but must have the sap down. After picking, all mangoes are washed of latex. To prevent the mango's fruit latex from sticking to the fruit's skin. They will have specialized vehicles installed with water systems. This system will help them get rid of puss immediately. After washing, the mangoes are put on the transmission line and placed in baskets with rubber pads underneath to reduce fruit crushing.
In addition, they also have cranes to lift and pick fruit more easily. Of course, mango containers also have mango washing systems. After picking, everything is put into baskets and transported to the warehouse. Back in the warehouse, the mangoes are put on the production line for preliminary processing. They are passed through rollers equipped with brushes to rub the coating on the surface. Next, it is sent to the cleaning process. After being cleaned, the mangoes will go to the stage of preliminary classification. Then, each type of fruit will be classified into different qualities. The mangoes will continue to be passed through the machine to dry. Employees just need to pack mangoes into cartons. They will all fit neatly into the bins. Finally, the mango boxes are placed on the line. and arrive at the gathering place for transportation. In another line, mangoes are processed to produce dried mango products. The mangoes are cleaned with water. They will be then sent to the inspection line. At this stage, mangoes are randomly selected to check the quality concentration. Next, the mango baskets are brought to the gathering place for preliminary processing. In this department, staff will peel the mango skin and take it to the next stage. Here, the golden mangoes have their seeds removed. Next, the staff will slice the mango pieces into smaller pieces. All employees must ensure food hygiene and safety when preparing food. The mangoes are sent to the filtration line to remove excess water. And filter out the mango pieces that are not qualified to stay. The mango pieces are put into an oven to dry and produce the finished product. Here the staff check again before reaching the packaging stage. They will check whether the size of the mango pieces meets the standard. Then put it in a box for weighing and packaging. It can be seen that the produce and quality of a mango and delivered to its customers. Farmers in Australia have to go through many stages of fertilization and care. The preliminary processing of these produces the best finished product. They must always be strict and ensure food safety and hygiene. In California, we will often encounter vast vineyards. With little rain and sunny days, floods rarely occur. That creates the best conditions for the grapes to flourish and reach perfect ripeness. Grapes from California are grown, picked, packed and shipped with the utmost care. 
to ensure that the fruits you enjoy arrive in a plump state as if they were just picked. To produce the best grapes, people have applied the highest standards to each type of grape. First, people will make the trellis for the grapes. Tall pillars are fixed and firmly fixed in the ground. People use iron or concrete piles, 1.8 to 2 meters high. The rows of stakes are 2.5 meters apart. All are neatly placed and aligned with each other. Dig a hole of 50 by 50 by 50 centimeters and fertilize 15 days in advance. Plants are about 1.5 to 2 meters apart. The vines will be brought out and planted. The vines are firmly rooted. Avoid exposing the soil of the seedling. Stretch a steel wire trellis horizontally and vertically for grapes to climb. For climbing grapes, use a wooden stake as large as your thumb. Place it near the vine base and erect. Choose the strongest grape tops and tie them up to the trellis. When the vine has branches extending to 30 to 40 centimeters beyond the trellis, you can prune the top to create level 1 branches. The farmer chooses to keep 2 to 3 healthy level 1 branches. Create a level 2 branch. When the level 1 branch is about 120 centimeters long, press the top of the level 1 branch to leave 40 centimeters. Immediately after cutting the branches, use a rope to tie the branches and redistribute the number of branches. The fruit branches have turned woody and brown, and the eyes are visible. Most of the leaves are ripe and then cut to produce fruit. Cut off all existing branches and leaves. Leave only fruit branches to form new fruit and wood. Sprouts are stored at the base of the fruit branches to replace those branches next season. If the vine is old, leave some branches near the trunk to replace those that are too old. Cut off as many leaves as possible and cut off as many branches that are too weak or overlapping. After a while, the branches will protrude. At this time, people will prune off the leaves below the sprouts. Plucking leaves and cutting branches is almost a forced measure to force the vine to bear fruit. Cut off all sprouts growing at the base. Let the tree focus on feeding the fruit, bearing the branches above. About 20 days after cutting the branches, the tree begins to flower. 25 to 30 days of fruiting. To take care of the vineyard, farmers need to rely on tank trucks. Inside the tank is a spray solution. The vehicle helps farmers spray chemicals to all locations of the plants. when the grape bunches start to get bigger and appeared below the foliage. The farmer will prune the fruit branches. This step helps the grape bunches meet the highest standards. They will leave one to two strong bunches in the middle position. Grapes are light-loving and sun-loving plants. Therefore, they will install a drip irrigation system to help the tree have enough moisture to feed the tree. From cutting to ripe fruit, early varieties need about 90 days. Late varieties require 120 days. Farmers will harvest in the early morning or late afternoon. They choose the best quality bunches to harvest. Each quality beam will weigh about 1.3 to 2 kilos. After picking, they will be transported to the gathering place. Here, bunches of grapes are put into bags. Farmers will remove damaged fruits before packing them. Each such box will weigh about 3 kilograms. After packaging, all of them are packed into boxes and transported for consumption. Depending on the grape varieties grown, they have different uses. With soft, succulent grapes that are easy to bruise, farmers choose to carefully when picking. 
and to remove damaged fruit. In another garden, the farmer picked all the ripe bunches and let the small bunches grow. They don't need to be careful when cutting this type of grape. All the grapes fell into the bucket carried by the farmer. After picking, every box is filled with bunches of grapes. At this time, a cart with large wooden crates was transported to make it easier to transport them. A grape crop must take at least four months from cutting to harvest. And each year produces three to four crops per year. The rainy season will produce the lowest yield of the year. Crops fall in the dry season, with little rain and yield is stable. Growing grapes is not difficult. Grapes to bear fruit at the right time and with high yields, it's necessary to clearly understand the characteristics. Planting and care process to have the best, juiciest and sweetest grapes. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. I hope my video is enough to meet what you're looking for. We always listen and absorb your suggestions to improve the content of our channel. If you find it interesting, please subscribe and comment below my video.